folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. We're here in the woods just behind our house on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. And we are going to do a little fall planting of ramps. This is just the opening phase of what we're going to start. But I wanted to show you our location first. We're in an area where we're sure there will be periodic drainage from up above and periodic flooding down in this little zone, but not for long. We want the ground to be really moist, but not soggy. And we're under, if you point the camera up here into the trees, you can see it is, it is fall, right? But you see all the tree cover. Well, when they leaf out during the, uh, during the spring, that throws shade on this area, which is ideally what we want. We want an open area during the the uh, early part of spring so the leaves can come up out of the ground of the ramps and absorb that wonderful sunlight and then uh, we've chosen a site here that it's, it's kind of rough you see there are lots of tree roots and stuff and in the past we've tried to plant in this and it's been a challenge because it competes with other tree roots and also with voles those little critters that burrow underground and gnaw at the roots. So we're going to go at it a little bit different way than we did last year. We're going to actually make a bed. And that will be arranged with a series of logs that we're cutting from the area out of some dead wood. We'll make a nice little box. We'll fill that box, first of all, starting with some weed barrier cloth, right? And then next with some barricade here. This is like a plastic hardware cloth to keep the voles from penetrating. And then we'll get into some compost. This is some compost right from our garden. You can see um, it has little bits of eggshell in it, which is great for having a little calcium to uh, treat the soil. And we'll be adding a few amendments as well. We're gonna be adding some calcium as well as some of the, um, what we love to use is holytone by Espoma. And that adds a little acidity to, <laughs> yeah, to, uh, to offset the effect of, of calcium, which tends to, to drive up the pH. Pull it up your way you can, it got too slop. Alright. Okay. Are you already on? Oh, we're already on. Great. Yeah. Hey, Coleman <laughs> okay. Alderson for GardensAll.com. We're back at it. We just had a little fun cutting some logs and making a little bed. It's approximately a four by four and uh, probably get about 25 plants in there. It should be a lot better than what we've done before, but everything down here is experimental, right? When you're growing these uh, ramps and all and when you're trying to be the farmer that's doing it, they like to grow just naturally and nature picks the spot. So we're kind of trying to enhance the whole deal. And we have the, uh, the weed fabric to keep down the weeds. And this is the varmint hardware cloth. It's made of plastic, but it should keep the, uh, the voles that crawl in under and make burrow tunnels and all that. The sides are high enough that we shouldn't get too many crossovers or anything crawling over and then crawling over the log. Time will tell on that, but we're about ready to fill this with dirt. So in goes the good stuff. And we're going to supplement with another bag. Got it. Okay. Another bag. Wonderful Daddy Pete's mix. Okay. Good deal. Just going to mix it all in here. Press against sides. Alrighty, we're at the uh, near the final stage before we start planting and we put in some wonderful organic material here. It's a mixture of some of the Daddy Peaks mix and some other raised bed mix and some compost. And now we're going to add the um, calcium, which according to what I've read and believe now that I've read it is that calcium helps these ramps grow. But you don't want to overdo it because ramps also like acidic soil. So what I've done here is I've mixed a fertilizer by Espoma and it's called Hollytone. 
and Holly Tone happens to have calcium in it at the same time. It also has some sulfur in it, which acidifies and offsets the effect of the calcium, right? So that's exactly what we're putting in here, and we're going to get down and start working it into the soil. And I swear these guys ought to be happy as clams going into here. They, they just, they're going to enjoy this, and we look forward to seeing them pop up in the spring. And so we got these from our friends up in West Virginia. These ramp. These ramp bublets. And you can see these are really nice and strong. Some of them are even beginning to send shoots up. So these are high quality bulbs that we're going to set in. And they say it's good to do it early winter. But I've also heard from these folks that actually grow them up in West Virginia. You can set them out now in the fall. They'll begin to establish themselves and be all the stronger and more productive when springtime rolls around. So uh, I've had this in a sort of a soil solution. It's just some of our soil mix that I put them in. I put some leaves on top. But they've been nice and moist all this time that they've been in our garage. Another thing, you don't want to get these overheated or dried out. So we're going to be starting to plant these in. All right, so this is the planting process. We're going to set these in. Planting ramps. Planting ramps. Now these guys are, you know, it's like um, garlic, the way you plant it is you want the tips up, right, and make sure the roots are going to be down here in the soil. I just made a furrow here, kind of a trench, and these are about, I'm making about six inches apart, okay, and this furrow will fill up pretty quickly because we're spacing them out this much. I don't think we want to get them overcrowded because uh, then they're really competing with each other. And this is a great medium that we're playing them in. Looking forward to seeing them pop up even before we get into the, the real wintertime temperatures and all that. So they're in there like that. And I'm just using a shovel. And we'll just come in from either side and give them a nice gentle cover. Now the follow-up to this will be they get watered in. They One important thing that I read over and over again is you don't want these ramp bulblets to dry out. You want to keep them moist constantly and even as a plant you want to keep the plant constantly moist. So I'm packing in the soil. It has a little now it has a little trough above them and that should fill up nicely. And then we will just proceed one uh, one trench at a time. About ah uh, there's about six inches or so separation between the rows. This is uh, this is pretty nice soil. Look, it's going down to about here. This is this is good stuff right here. Good depth. I'm really excited about getting these it's in the ground. It's about four inches. Oh no, it's six. more. I'd say six. here to here is about six, six or yeah. so, which is how they generally like to grow anyway. They're they're very shallow rooted, and uh, they'll have a happy home here. We're definitely expecting, hoping that uh, they will have that, and that's what we'll keep continue to do looks like uh, got about six in here we get six another six so we're 18 probably about 24 plants and total. then you'll water them in and mulch over them yeah and that's important too when you get them in the ground they love to have hardwood leaf mulch so we're going to put uh, about six inches of that leaf mulch on top of here that should uh, well maybe not six inches that's a little bit over but about two to three inches of, of good hardwood leaf mulch on top of that. Okay, so now we're at the stage of watering. Now watering in gently. We wound up planting about 40 of these ramp bulblets in here. And uh, this is water we pulled from the creek. So it's good natural groundwater going into this bed. This is the first pass of water. We have another bucket. We'll fill the uh, the sprinkler with. They like a good drink of water and after that we're going to mulch with about two to three inches layers of, um, of hardwood leaves. Yep, so this is the final product. <clears throat> now all we have to do is play the patience game and see what comes up in the next three or four weeks. We have some warm weather on the way so we're hopeful that we might see some green shoots appear before the um, Thanksgiving time. This is it. 
My name is Coleman Alderson. I'm here for GardensAll.com. Please come see us up on our channel and visit our website. We have all kinds of goodies for you guys. So, so here we are in the middle of March 2022, and we are just beginning to see these beautiful little green shoots of our ramp plantings from in the fall popping up. It's an exciting time. 